Um, I think one of the greatest responses that foster parents hear um, when you say you're going to be a foster parent, and I say this because it's such a recent thing for me, um, is, oh, I could never do that. I would get too attached. Um, and I know where the heart is behind that, but when people say that to you, what they're implying is that we don't love our kids um, and that we're not going to get attached. Um, and it just, it implies to us like, oh yeah, you're right. Like I must take my children, right. which is not true at all. Like attachment is the job. Like mm -hmm. if we don't get attached, like we're not doing what we're supposed right. to be doing. Um, and so even though I know the heart behind that is maybe like, I don't feel like I'm strong enough to do this. Um, it really doesn't send the right message to other foster families. And so I think um, something else that people can say is not say like you can't do this, but just be like, wow, like I think that's a really great thing. Um, and like let us support you in any way we can mm -hmm. instead of, oh, I just couldn't do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I think that's just something that, you know, we run into a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I mean, we've cried every time someone has left mm -hmm. our home, whether it's been a couple months or however long it's been, because you do, you're responsible for those mm -hmm. children. You're responsible for loving them and making them feel that they're just as much a part of your family as any other family member. Mm -hmm. And um, even the ones that have been the sweetest kids and the ones that have not been the sweetest kids, I mean, they're still a part of your life for a period of time. And um, it is hard, but you know that's what you are called to do. And I think some people automatically assume like, you're fostering to adopt and yeah. we're trained that that's mm -hmm. never yeah. supposed to be your thought process and so I think the training when you go through training a lot of people that say this they train you to think this is temporary yeah this mm -hmm. is always temporary and so in your training you're taught to remember always plan on them going home so yeah. love them as much as you can I think that kind of helps you like on Mother's Day we always try to send Mother's Day presents to the biological mom. Aww. And that's kind of for us too to remember these aren't our kids, you know, mm -hmm. so we will love them, but kind of at the same time that you're loving them wholly and completely, you're also preparing your heart to let them go if that's what God's will is for them. So I think that going through foster parent training really helps to prepare <coughs> your heart for that. Um, but yeah, I do get kind of frustrated when I hear that same thing because I'm like, you can do it. You know, I mm -hmm. get just as attached to them, but it's not my responsibility to raise mm -hmm. them if that's not God's will. Mm -hmm. and, and I think about it this way. If you were having a child that you knew was going to die in two months, mm -hmm. would you just love them less? Mm -hmm. Like, would you just right. say, oh, well, I'm only going to have him for two months, so I'm not going to worry about really loving him. I don't want to get attached because I know he's going to die. Or would you take those two months to truly pour <coughs> everything you have mm -hmm. into your son and your daughter for those two months? And that's why I tell people, this is my son or daughter that I have for three months. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say, oh, I only have you for a couple months. Let me keep a distance. Right. No, I'm going to say, let me give you everything yeah. I have because I know it's not long. And I think it's just a different perspective that yeah. people that aren't in this situation don't really know how to yeah. look at it that way. I was actually at work and we had a week's notice, which was nice to be able right. to <laughs> wow. you know, nice. prepare. <laughs> um, and I went to work, we had just found out, I went to work the next day, and I'd been crying my whole way to work. It was just a very hard week. And um, I got to work and the lady who was working with me, she was like, what's wrong, are you okay? And I was like, well, we just found out, you know, that our son is gonna go back home. She was like, sweetie, did you not know that that was gonna happen? Like, why are, why are you sad, didn't you know? And I was like, excuse me <laughs> and I had to go to the bathroom and cry even Aww. more because it was just I don't I mean mm -hmm. and she's a she's a believer and I, I mean I think that she was maybe trying to look out for me a little mm -hmm. bit and like don't you know this kind of stuff right. like aren't you supposed to mm -hmm. know these things but <clears throat> it just was very hurtful so yeah. um, I would definitely go the route that you were saying maybe not like because I feel like whenever people say oh, I couldn't do that. They're trying to kind of honor us in a certain way, like, mm -hmm. oh, like, that's honorable that you're doing that, but maybe instead of saying that, maybe say, um, that's really awesome. Like, is there anything I can do for you mm -hmm. or yeah. pray for you or anything? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so it's definitely, mm -hmm. it's definitely one big, yeah. one big thing that yeah. 
it's a misconception, I would say. I think, too, going off, when you were talking about this is my son or daughter, even if it's only for a couple months, um, when we found out I was pregnant, when we were getting licensed, um, a lot of people thought, oh, well, maybe y'all should wait, like, maybe. And we, you know, we prayerfully considered that, um, but decided <clears throat> that there really isn't a convenient time to have a child, whether it's biological or right. foster, like, <laughs> it just kind of happens. And so we were like, no, like, let's, you know, continue with this. And, like, if God doesn't want us to get placed, he won't let us. Um, and I talked about that with some people. And loving, like, believers, like you were talking about, would counsel us and say, well, you know, if you end up on bed rest or your pregnancy gets really complicated, you can always send the child back. Yeah. And I was like, like, would I send my own, like, would I send my own son back to the hospital if he right. just cried a lot? Or, like, you know, or if they're like, oh, well, if, they, if it's just not working oh. out, like, you can send them back. And I'm like, if that's not something I'm going to do with my biological it's child, like, something. I'm not going to do it with my foster child. And, like, there are situations where maybe they can move a child to another foster home um, that is better equipped to take care of that mm -hmm. child. Or mm -hmm. maybe they're getting placed right. with siblings that mm -hmm. otherwise they couldn't be placed with. Because um, in our particular home, we're only licensed for one child. Um, but if that's not the situation where it's, they're going to be better, like, I'm going to do the same thing for them as I would do for my son. And that is, okay, we're going to have to hire some babysitters or right. we're going to have to get some help in here. Mm -hmm. And that's okay because this is just a season mm -hmm. um, of pregnancy or whatever that might be your family's going through. But just because their foster children doesn't mean they're like objects. It's not a sweater I just right. bought at a store that if I don't right. like, I can take it back. Like mm -hmm. that's, that's a child and they need to be in the same place as long as possible for attachment reasons and moving them is only gonna cause them more trauma. And so don't talk about them as if yeah. they are something to be like passed around because it might be better for them. I'm like, no, being passed around is never what's better for them. It's almost like what you would do with a pet, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, like mm -hmm. if your dog's not very well behaved, you just send them back to the pound or find like another <laughs> family member to take care of them. Right. It's, it's like a human being. It's right. a child of God. Child yeah. Of God.